All right, and hey there, Prox Gaming Crew, and this is Prox right here, back again for another set of Persona 4 Gold in the last play, if you did miss out there on the last one. Well, the October month is now finally said and done. Uh, the last day that we were there was on October 31st, had to help out with Yosuke with some decorations within the Juness department store, and it all that time that we went and spent out on doing that whole entire decorations and everything uh didn't really live up to the expectations since uh one of the other employees said that that event was canceled but however we are now going to be moving off into the november month now which that does mean that we are going to have to be finding out who is going to be on that said midnight channel now and uh, after doing a little bit of some research which you guys should already know at this point in time uh we already discussed that nanako is going to be the next victim of the said midnight channel kidnappings and and we're going to have to go and try to rescue her throughout uh, whatever part of the next dungeon is going to be. And uh, mind you, since we already went and got ourselves with some special new outfits, I wouldn't mind going and uh, adding some of that to our main character while we head on into that web. Uh, but while we are going throughout this set episode for today, uh, not only are we just going to be doing out here with the course of Persona 4 Golden, but we are going to be moving on into with some more of the Mario Galaxy episode as well. Me and my friend Kevin have decided to come back to Mario Galaxy once again and uh, be able to continue onwards for you guys. I know that there's not really too much amount of other different stars that we have to collect at this point uh, But pretty much soon uh, we will have to go and start facing off with Bowser and completing off the Mario side So that then we can go and start jumping onto the Luigi's on our uh, other side uh, Throughout that uh, throughout that type of observatory there because we are of course having to go and do with the whole 100%ing of everything and uh, speaking about with me and Kevin, uh, you guys should be able to see within the next upcoming uploads uh, that I will be having a Halloween special with Luigi's Mansion. And I know that uh, me and Kevin, uh, we have been discussing about uh, what type of Halloween special that we should go and do. And it seems like Luigi's Mansion 3 seems like the right type of uh, thing to go on with. Uh, even though that Kevin doesn't really know all that too much about the Luigi's Mansion series, it should be fun for him to go and jump into Luigi's Mansion 3 and uh, experience throughout that game. I know that currently right now, uh, throughout the way of uh, the beginning part of our time with uh, Luigi's Mansion 3. Uh, we're not going to be able to do the co-ops at this point for right now, uh, but later on when uh, the time happens, probably within the second time that we come back to Luigi's Mansion, uh, you guys should be able to see that uh, Kevin and myself are going to have to go and uh, be able to do some sort of co-op together, which that would be really cool. And I never really tried out the co-op feature before uh, in Luigi's Mansion 3. But here we go, it's time for the Midnight Channel to be turned on, and let's see who it's going to be, since we already know about what's going to happen here. So, uh, yeah, so it looks like uh, it's a smaller type of uh, shadow here. It doesn't really seem like it kind of fits with the descriptions of like the other type of characters that we have seen. But uh, it is a little bit blurry, but however, we'll probably be able to see that again at some point down the road. Yep, so let's go and get ourselves back over to the Jewish department store, regather all of our thoughts, and then we can go and try to come up with anything over here. Now, in this video, however, this is where we are going to have to go in face to face with Dojima and everything that has been happening so far. And I know that for like the longest time, if you guys do recall, uh, we never really wanted to go and uh, kind of really discuss everything with Dojima all that much about with all the other type of uh, cases and other things that we have been doing so far on our side. Uh, now, Dojima is actually going to go and start wondering about why that we have been literally snooping throughout their type of investigations all this time which then that's going to really go and play somewhat of a factor with everything that is going with what's going to happen with nanako at some point in just in a little bit here i can't think of any offhand i suppose there was that politician who visited to quell the rumors about the fog his statement was read on tv but the chances of him being the one are... Slim. Oh, yeah. And now, if you guys do uh, vaguely remember, uh, there should be, I think, some sort of guy that was around within Nanako's school. And it was talking about, like, the different type of fog and what had, like, some sort of effect with, uh, with the situation that was going on within Inaba. And uh, that actually does kind of foreshadow into what's going to be happening now. Because if you guys remember, uh, we did see that random strange uh, guy that was... Like, like, uh, like kind of like in his house somewhere and he was like writing down something in his diary book with all these things that were going on with different pictures of other different characters throughout our time through like uh, probably meeting them over somewhere within like one particular part of the game or something. 
And, uh, and I think we are going to be finding out who that said guy is uh, fairly soon. But at least the good thing is, is that uh, when we do go and have to go and uh, see what's going to happen with Nanako, at least we'll kind of figure out how this whole situation kind of happens and how this uh, type of character is going to uh, basically uh, kind of do his uh, normal type of daily routine out here with trying to bring people into that Midnight Channel. The Kotatsu. Uh, right, yes, yeah. so, uh, that type of, uh, Kitsatsu thing, uh, that originally was supposed to get set up inside the living room is not really working, so we are gonna have to go and try and buy a new one at some point soon. But it looks like, uh, something has come in the mail once again, and it's one of those weird suspicious notes. I know that the last time we got to see that there was a suspicious note that actually kind of brought up something was saying, don't rescue, and then now all of a sudden we're getting something about here, if you don't stop this now... Uh-oh, something is, is going to happen, huh? Well, that does not seem good at all, and I'm pretty certain that that's going to have to lead on into with those Jima suspicions out here. What exactly is going on? Not often we get letters with no return address on them. So, I was right. Be straight with me. You're involved in the case, aren't you? Well, you know what? I think it's about time where we go and try to at least uh, somewhat tell them immediately. So you're not going to be honest with me. <laughs> you know, even if we want to even tell the truth, he doesn't even, like, try to believe us at all, right? Because, like, even if we try to bring up with anything about with, like, personas and shadows and going through TVs and stuff, he's going to literally probably think that we're, like, uh, probably on some sort of, like, acid trip or something. Or some sort of, like, uh, or, or, well, we took some sort of hallucinogenic, I guess, for what it's going on here. not letting you leave until I'm convinced. This is for your own good. Got that? It's all right. We're not fighting. Yeah, I don't think it would be a good idea if Nanako's just going to be sitting here and getting ourselves all reamed out like this. But yeah, we'll have to be back soon, Nanako. We're not going to go and uh, try to make anything more uh, agitated than it actually has to be now. So it looks like we're finally going to have to go to the police station. There's no other option here. It's kind of mandatory now. Oh man, we're going to become a... We may probably get put to jail. Well, that's not good. So, yeah, so basically, Jojima just went and took our phone, so we have no other way to go and really talk to anybody at this point in time, which that's going to leave a lot of our other uh, friends out here very suspicious about what's going to happen now. Persona? People going inside a TV? Oh, come on. I know that Jojima doesn't really believe all of this, but he has to know at least something that's going to be here, right? Enough. That's enough. Like, a dash, you could probably go and maybe at least somewhat be on our side, right? Open up to me a little. It's a shame. Yeah, and uh, speaking about with Adachi, I'm pretty certain that by now, uh, if you haven't went and met up with Adachi, I think by the time of November 1st, uh, you'll probably in a little bit of a situation where you won't be able to go and do a whole bunch of social reiki with him for a little bit for some time now. I know Dojima-san brought you here and asked you those questions because he wants to believe you too. Plus, you know, you'll be safe here. He probably freaked out once he saw that letter and thought he had to protect you. Like what a fun Well, that's what he was originally going to be trying to do, but then he went and interrogated us, so basically, uh, so, yeah. now we have to go and land all the way over here to that police station. Dojima-san started looking into people involved with the first case again. Guess he wasn't satisfied with the way the case wrapped up after all. That's why he's even more sensitive about this and that. Oh, that doesn't seem good. He just went and completely slammed that door. Shut up now before I get chewed out again. All right, I'll be just outside. If you need anything, let me know. So off goes the Dachi, and now we're going to have to go and meet up with the other characters that are out here. So, yeah, so now we got ourselves with Yosuke and Teddy, and Teddy's going to have to basically take our well, job, I guess, for trying to help out with Yosuke there. It's because I... Hard enough. There's no getting around it. And you're proud of that because why am I taking care of you anyways? I shouldn't have bought you this. Oh, look at that. So it looks like Teddy has his own cell phone. <laughs> I remember when I got my very first cell phone. That was an awesome thing to go and have. Get worried if we couldn't reach you. 
Now, the the one type of phone that I literally got was not really the greatest of phones. I think it was like the Samsung like Galaxy Q or something like that. It wasn't really the greatest of uh, uh, phones to go and uh, to to be able to have around. But it was pretty cool. It did have like a little like uh, flip phone type of like type of way to it though, and uh, you would be able to kind of like uh, be able to do all your texting and everything from there. Like that was like the only one cool thing that I really do like about the phone. But other than that. It didn't really play great with video games on there, and then not only that, but it did have, like, a really horrible type of, like, gigabyte storage that was on there. I think it only had, like, about, like, I think it only had about, like, maybe, like, two gigs or something like that. It didn't really hold out, like, a whole bunch of gigs. It was, like, you could only put, like, so much amount of games on there, and then, like, after that, it, like, uh, it, like, fills up, like, all your different spaces from that. I feel bad to think of her staying home all alone. We could go take her some dinner. Please, 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 please. Teddy's just really adamant to go and see Nanako right away. Okay, okay, I hear you. Jeez. So we can go? Sweet! You're so mature, Yosuke. My heart just skipped a beat because of your thoughtfulness. Yeah, but even if you keep on calling Yosuke, it's not going to really help in this whole matter because we're currently right now, we are basically interrogated over at the police station. He's still not picking up. Oh, duh. To try his well, hopefully Nanako is still going to be there. Hopefully the kidnapper is not going to be there either. Hello? Hey, Nanako-chan? Um, is your brother home? No. He got a weird letter, and Dad saw it and got angry. He took the bro to the police station. Wait, wait, wait what? He oh, yeah. The police station? Stop blabbering and let me talk too! Good evening. <laughs> this is your <laughs> So now he's going to try and get all the load down of exactly what's going to happen with us as well. Again. Weird letter. We'll go check up on your brother and dad. So don't worry, okay? Wait. Was it another warning letter? Did he get a second one? And Dojima-san saw that, so he told Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it seems like... Con or sorry, not Kanji, but Yosuke has already went and planned everything out as it is. Well, it should be getting close to midnight now, right? Oh, man. That does mean that the TV is going to have to be uh, onto that midnight channel. So, hopefully we get to see what exactly is going to be happening now, huh? Oh, yeah. That is definitely Nanako there. Yeah, that's not no, like, uh, type of blurriness picture. That is clearly what is going on now. Because, like, uh, don't we have to look at, like, the Midnight Channel, like, three different times? Because normally, like, how, like, what we went through and saw, like, all the other different characters is that there would normally be, like, three type of times that we would be seeing the Midnight Channel. We'd be seeing, like, one that's, like, a blurry photo, then one that was, like, a silhouette, and then the one that was just actually, like, the full-on person of that said shadow there. So, maybe what could possibly happen is, is that we may possibly not actually get to see this full shadow, like, right away just yet. So, maybe if we go and try to beat the, well, try to beat the clock before it actually happens, maybe we can at least uh, not have to go through a battle with Nanako right away. But, it all depends on how exactly everything is going to get all timed out here properly. ...and made the news several times. In those interviews, he always quoted a particular student he spoke with. The child became well-known while remaining anonymous. That girl was Nanako-chan. A reporter who took interest in this released her photo and interview using her real name in today's evening. Yeah, so basically what has happened is, is that, like, whoever that one person was, was over at Nanako's school and, like, doing all that interview and stuff. They, they, they kind of wanted to leave it somewhat anonymous, and then now what we're hearing from Nato is that that whole anonymous person was actually Nanako this whole entire time. So she was getting interviews, so now she's going to be the next one that's going to get thrown into the TV. But for right now, we're going to have to end things off here, and we'll catch that up with the next part that's going to happen throughout the, with the video. So see you guys then, and of course, peace.